Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new review video. Today we're talking about the Urban Carry G2 holster. Now, uh, this holster has got some kind of fame online and stuff, at least the first generation did until they made some improvements, and uh, this is it. Before we get into this, I was n I have no affiliation with Urban Carry. They did not send me this. I paid for this, uh, all that good stuff. So this is a very non-biased, very truthful review. So first up, I just want to talk about what the holster is, how it's supposed to work, stuff like that. Then I'll actually show you, like I'll wear it so you can see how it looks wearing, how it prints, uh, how it draws, stuff like that. Okay, so when it arrives, it does come in this nice pretty little bag, which I like. You know, it adds a little bit of touch and class to it. This thing's like $65, by the way. Uh, it was like 10 bucks for shipping, so 75 overall. Uh, presentation does matter, I think, at that price point, so I'm glad they did that. It also does come with an instruction manual, just telling you how to wear it, uh, how to maintain the leather, stuff like that. But okay, here is the uh, the holster itself. This is the Urban Carry G2 Captain size. It's Captain because uh, it's supposed to fit a Glock 19. So I assume it is one of their bigger sizes as a Glock 19 is a bigger gun to concealed carry. Um, so I, I there's probably smaller versions of this, maybe bigger, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I wore this thing for about a week because I wanted to get a decent feel for it uh, before I watched any other video reviews or did any research on it whatsoever. I wanted to form my own opinion of it. So I'll give you that later in the video, but I just wanted to mention that. The holster itself is made of genuine leather. Uh, they say that it will soften up over time. They recommend, I think, BIC 4 to help kind of just soften it up, uh, help it mold to your gun, all that good stuff. Um, it feels very, very nice. It does feel like genuine leather. It feels like it's, it's put together well. But at the end of the day, it does feel like two pieces of leather sewn together with some magnets. So take it for what it is. I wasn't around for the G1, the original generation, so I, I don't have anything to compare this to. But I will tell you that from my understanding, um, this little clip here did not exist. This, I guess you used to just uh, kind of put your belt through like two leather holes? How do you say that? Thread your belt through leather openings. The clip now allows for, so you don't have to wear a belt, right? You can just clip this over your pants even if you're not wearing a belt. If you are, it uh, gives a little bit more stability, which is great. Very, very strong magnet back here, right here, as you can see, it clips pretty strong. Um, when it's wearing, when you're wearing it over your pants, this is what is exposed, which is a little weird for me. I mean, I don't know if you're trying to pass that off as like a early 2000s dad cell phone pouch. I guess one of the big uh, upgrades they've made since the first generation is on this side, which is uh, this magnet here. This magnet is intended to hold the gun in place. Um, apparently on the G1, some of the issues they were having is someone would draw and a gun could go flying out. So this magnet is supposed to mitigate that. Uh, from what I've seen, it does fine. You know, when I was testing it out and stuff like that, I never had any issues with it. Um, but yeah, so that's the holster itself. You can kind of, let me show you some, some nice close-ups here. So you can see the uh, design, both sides there. Okay, so how does this thing actually fit on your body? How does it carry a gun? Stuff like that. So this is the, uh, this is the orientation that'll fit on your body. It's intended to be kind of an appendix carry, fit down inside your pants with this showing, and the gun fits inside there. So for the gun, we have the Glock 19. Empty cartridge, empty uh, mag. Gun will sit inside. Oh my. Gun will fit inside. Magnet, chill out. Okay, gun will fit inside, just like that. So you can kind of see in there. Right, right. So this magnet on the back is intended to be holding that Glock in place. So this would then fit down inside of your pants and then this flips over everything and uh, helps to conceal it, I guess. But yeah, so that's the holster. Um, drawing is intended to be once this is in place, you pull this up, pull, and your gun is revealed just like that. Uh, as far as the magnet, like I said, holds it in there pretty well. Let's try this thing on, give you guys an idea how that works. Okay, excuse the uh, mess here. I just moved the table out of the way so I can get a little bit wider shot. Um, they recommend putting this at about one o'clock on your waist, so I'm gonna go for about right there. They also recommend having your gun inserted first so that you can ensure that it's seated all the way to the bottom of the holster. Hey. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Woo. Here it is. Uh, from a wide perspective, you know, I, I don't think it prints really too bad. But the more you look at it, the more that thing starts to show. And uh, it's, not a, it's not in a good place where you want it to show. Because people don't think you're carrying a firearm. It's like, look at that. Can you look at that? That's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> Comfort wise, if I was just standing still in place all day, super comfortable. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, if I'm walking, I can feel it. I sort of understand what it might be like to be part horse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can definitely feel it. Now, sitting. And now, I'm a, I'm a fairly younger guy. You know, I wear my pants right at my waistline, not too high. I don't necessarily sag, but you know, when I sit, this thing is, is going right into my stomach. And I'm a fairly fit guy, so I, and it's uncomfortable for me. I can't imagine if you had, you know, a little extra love right here that it wouldn't be comfortable, you know what I mean? <gasps> Plus, pretend I'm sitting right now. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> yeah. All right, now let's try a draw. So that's this thing's kind of claim to fame. God, I feel ridiculous wearing this. So I'm gonna grab my shirt and this clip at the same time and pull up. So here we go. Oh, hey, oh no. Oh, I missed it. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, I need to draw. Okay. That doesn't work. Apparently I should have tried drawing more often. I'm gonna pull my shirt up with one hand, pull the holster with the other, let go of the shirt, grab the gun. Here we go, ready? Shirt. Maybe my belt's too tight. Let's, let's loosen this belt a bit, guys. Uh, a little more, a little more give on the waistband. Let's try this again. I'm gonna try it in a little bit slower motion. So we have shirt, holster, gun. Ah, that was better. That was better. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing back in here. Okay. This thing's a lot of work. This thing's a lot of work. It prints in all the wrong areas. Drawing. I feel like this is being comedic, but I swear I'm giving this my best shot. This is gonna be the most serious draw ever. I mean, I'm gonna try loosening my belt like way. Okay, so I don't know if you can, can you see in this one? There's a huge amount. There's, a, there's inches from my waist to the waistband on my shorts. So it's not that it's too tight. Let's try this again. And I'm gonna try one, I wanna try that one handed again. Okay. That was way smoother. That was way smoother of a draw. I guess it needs that much clearance room. That's a pain. The instructions, I just read the instructions again and it, and it emphasizes a lot on leaning back. So if you're in a car, you know, you're chilling, you're sitting. If you wanna draw, you lean back. Ah. Plus what's your mobility afterwards? Uh, okay, so that was the Urban Carry G2 holster in action. My thoughts on it, number one, carrying it is just not realistic. Like, it's not comfortable, it's not even comfortable. But beyond not being comfortable, it makes you just really self-conscious of that area. <laughs> or maybe makes you feel better about that area, I don't know. Here's the thing, man, I watched a lot of video reviews on this after I gave it a, you know, a decent amount of testing. and. 
there's some people that are really happy about it. So there are some really positive reviews. It's just, it's just not for me. I've, I've heard a lot of things about different body types and not working with different body types. Maybe because my belt needs to be a little tighter, it, it that doesn't make any sense to me. I do not like this holster. I unfortunately would never use it in a day-to-day -day scenario. A Glock 19 is a big gun, right? Maybe if this were, maybe if I was carrying a P238 or something, you know, little, maybe even a shield, single stack, small gun, it might have a lot more merit. Um, but with a Glock 19, it doesn't conceal it as well as me putting like a black arch holster back here. It doesn't draw near as clean as that. Um, once it's drawn, it's everywhere. Uh, you can't, you know, reholster and practice drawing quickly. Uh, and it prints like crazy. Like, unfortunately, I'm gonna give this holster two thumbs down. Uh, which I feel bad because <laughs> my Patreon supporters really wanted to see this video. I'm giving this holster to one of those people. I really hope this holster works out for you. Ray was the winner of this. Ray, I hope this video, or I hope this holster works for you, works better than it did for me. Uh, please let me know how it works out for you. If any of you guys have tried the Urban Carry G2, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Maybe you really like it. I hope you really like it. You know, it's, it's innovative. I like people who come up with new ideas for things that have been around for a long time. Uh, it's just, it's sort of a gimmick still at this point. If you want to be entered to win these kinds of things, uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash greenlight shooting, where you help me decide what items to buy each month, and then I give those items right back to you. That's an item that doesn't work, that <laughs> Greenlight's name is not behind. However, if you're looking for a good safe, good handgun safe, anything like that, something to protect your valuables, your passport, your money, anything like that, check out vault -Tec. They're a fantastic, fantastic company. They make a very good product. Um, you can get 10% off one of these with coupon code GREENLIGHT10. So uh, make sure to give them some love. I've got it, more than a couple of videos on my channel reviewing them, showcasing them. So go check those out. Uh, huge advocate of vault -Tec. They're a fantastic company once again. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video for Greenlight Shooting.